here's another squamous cell carcinoma of the esophagus like we just had. You can see normal mucosa here. You can see granular tumor here. You can see normal mucosa here again. Here is a, a variety of tissues uh, taken from that case. And I already know enough to tell you that you're going to have to hold your breath a little bit on this one and take some of this stuff on faith uh, and rely on my experience. Here is probably a normal remnant of squamous mucosa. I'm sorry it's not stained great. Maybe it's a technical artifact. Maybe it's just because the poor fixation or staining or maybe the uh, partly because the whole organ is so diseased. But you can see the basal layer of the squamous mucosa. And I think you could understand how it's kind of flattening up here at the top. If you follow this piece of tissue, you could see a considerably thickened muscular wall. You can see a lot of inflammation out here. But what you could mostly see in this case is that somewhere all throughout the submucosa here, a nest here, a nest here, 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 here. And even beyond the muscular layer, you can see these irregular uh, nests of cells which have all the features of infiltrating squamous cell carcinoma. Once again, it's not the best stain in the world. I wouldn't want you to believe something that you couldn't see with your own eyes, but you know it's all this stuff out here and all this stuff out here. And it certainly doesn't form glands. You could also see it here within the muscle. You could also see it here. Well, this is esophagus, even though we may not have seen the origin. Oh, and look at this. It looks like it's surrounding a little nerve, perhaps, out here in the submucosa as well. All of this bluer stuff is cancer. We've pretty much gone through this entire organ. Here's a little nest in the deep muscle, also looking very squamous, but also looking very malignant. Okay, this was the esophagus. Here's a lot of tumor out here. I think you have a feel for that. I wish I could zoom in a little more to show you some of the other classic squamous features. But now we're going to move over to another piece of tissue that's different. And I think I could convince you quickly that this is probably a liver because you could see some cords out here. You could see some fat. But what you also see in this liver now is the beginning of a metastasis. This is liver tissue up here, and this is all tumor tissue down here. And it looks exactly like that tumor tissue we saw in the esophagus. This is metastatic squamous cell carcinoma to the liver. And I think you could recognize that there's kind of a, a fibrous reaction within the liver between the fatty, perhaps compressed liver at the top of the field and all of this nice squamous looking irregular malignancy at the bottom. In addition, we're going to make a real fast trip uh, to the edge of this liver now and go out to a third uh, island, a third piece of tissue, which is different from esophagus, which is different from liver, and you already know what this is. This is lung. I was looking very hard for metastases of tumor to the lung. I can see a lot of congested uh, blood vessels. I could see the fact, whereas this, uh, these alveoli out here are well aerated, this part of the lung appears to be atelectatic, in which you don't have much aeration. But in all honesty, I looked a little bit. I could see... Oh, some alveoli here. So I can see some congestion by the fact that a lot of these vessels look like there's a lot of blood in them. But in all honesty, I don't see any metastasis here. So it's not worth looking at this lung too much more. We already saw a lot of tumor in the esophagus and a lot of tumor in the liver. And thank you very much.